Timothy Chalamet is known to have some of the biggest fits on the red carpet. They're big. Not that big, but big. We're gonna break down five of his biggest fits and see which one is the Most biggest. Most biggest. Yeah, biggest, biggest. Okay, so this is your man Timothy at the Golden Globes 2020. The look is Louis Vuitton. One of the earlier collections Virgil did. He went with the harness. I'm not a, such a big fan of the harness, to be honest. Me but neither. This is a nice one. You know, you definitely want to make sure that you're looking at something that has a little bit of flash to it. I think the length of the pants are good. I think they could have been a slightly longer. Do you think that they're the right length 2020? Because you know them joints got a little bit longer in 22. Um, they could have been a little they longer. They could have been a little longer. I'm not mad at them. The boots are nice and clean. The shininess of the boots, the patent leather on the boots, I think, goes goes back nicely to the harness. Yeah. Can we get a detail shot, please? Nice. How do you feel about the band collar? I feel like it's the right move. I love the band collar. Yeah. It's my jam. Mm -hmm. I think it's fly. Mm -hmm. I think the offset button actually makes it a little bit more elegant. What do you think of the strap coming off the harness? I think the strap could have been trimmed a little bit. It seems a bit long. Yeah. And I get it. It's a signature, but... I don't know. I'm not a big harness fan, so I would say... It's a black belt move. But again, like, it depends on what the event is, you know, what you're trying to achieve. Nah, and... nah. I'm going to disagree with you. It depends on the person. This on someone else? I don't know. You need to graduate <laughs> to the harness. You can't start there. Yeah, seriously. Which, I mean, kind of makes it the definition of a big fit. Yeah. Let's see how this ranks on the board. I know it's our first look, but I'm going to go ahead and put it here. Definitely not the biggest. I, I think we can go bigger. There. I think I we think, can go bigger. I think he's stay there. This is Timothy Venice Film Festival 2022. Now this is a fit. I happened to be there, and when he popped out of this, the crowd went wild. And I was like, what? And then I was like, okay. But yeah. You need to have some serious shoulder muscles yeah, yeah. to pull this off. Yeah. To wear this is bold. Like, oh. <laughs> bold. Yes, that is bold. Crazy, crazy. There are not a lot of accessories. No, nope, but you, you kind of. rings here. His arms are the accessories, actually, I yeah. think. I mean, no watch. No, just the two little rings right there. The halter top and the scarf are actually all made of one. So it's not an accessory. I think we can call it an accessory. Yeah. A built in accessory. I also, think. wearing red on the red carpet. If he was wearing some version of a red shoe, it would be full overkill. Yeah. The fact that he went with the black Cuban heel boot is definitely a smart move. In terms of the fit, not the bigness of the fit, yeah. but the smallness of the fit on the pants. I think the hem could have been a bit flatter. Mm -hmm. I think that there's something interesting about the wrinkles and the pulls. Okay. I think it adds a little bit of vibe and like slight ruggedness and like, it's like a glove, like you're wearing these pants. If we were to look at a detail of this, oh, is this a silk shantung? I like it even more now. Shantung is a woven set fabric usually made of different thicknesses of silk. What do you think about the Ray-Bans? I think the Ray-Bans are fly. Little cat eye. I think it's a surprising choice for a red carpet. You would think maybe Tom Ford, you Designer, would think Jacques expensive Marie Mage, exactly. something like that. I think Timothy has established himself as someone who is not afraid yeah. to go for it. Yeah. No one can really do this. No. This way. No. 95% of the bigness of a fit comes down to attitude. Let's take this to the board. Oh, I'm gonna go can't here. Give it number one yeah, right now. Yeah, but that's, yeah, a, that's yeah. a very big fit. I mean, the disparity between fit one and two right now is pretty major. Okay. Least fabric, biggest fit. It's kind of, kind of big. It's a tremendous fit. Yeah. Tremendous. <laughs> no arms, back out. Okay, so we got Timmy at the Met Gala 2021. So this is in America, lexicon of fashion. Okay. You see America in the converse? That, I was just about to say, from That's a context America. perspective, that really makes it make more sense. Because yeah. I'm going to say that this is not my favorite fit. Yeah. And it's because I don't love the converse. You've already got the sweatpants. Yep. You've got the cropped, double-breasted jacket. Not mad at none of that. Not mad at either of those things, particularly because it balances out, right? You've got the covered buttons, which is very formal. Yep. You've got the jewelry on the sweatpants and then you come down here yeah. and it's still casual you know i want like boom 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 i want like balance something here yeah. Yeah. that anchors it to the top i respect the youth aspect of wearing that at the bottom but fit wise i don't know it's a mullet of a look you yeah. know like yeah. it's definitely business in the front yeah a little bit too much party down here for yeah, me. Yeah. But the crop of the jacket, I think, definitely allows for there to be more volume at the bottom. I think yeah. that that's an interesting way of looking at it. Yeah. It's just too much bunch down here. Yeah. 
That's a 1920s Cartier brooch right there. Okay. So he went into the archives for that. Oh, now this is interesting. They've got the white all-star on the trucks. Does that change your nope. opinion? Nope. Okay. <laughs> just, well, just but I will say that from the back, it looks a little better. Feels cleaner. Feels cleaner. Still not my favorite fit. I like the cut of the jacket, personally. I like crop jackets. Now, generally speaking, if you saw a jacket this cropped, it would be paired with a pair of high-waisted pants. Exactly. Right? And like exactly. the volume, is right yep, to yep. wear with a jacket like that. Yeah, I think you can balance out casual wear and formal wear. I think. I think, I think the it gets key a bit is balanced. tricky. The key is yeah, balanced. It gets a bit tricky, but overall, it's a vibe. Let's take this to the board. To me, there's elements there, but I, but I agree. It may be my least favorite. I haven't decided yet. Oh, okay. I think we can leave it there for now. Tell me if you think. I don't I know. I don't know. I'm, listen, to me, this fit is less big than that fit. I mean, we still got a ways to go. Yeah, I, I think that we have more to see before we can decide. We need more fits. Oh. Okay, Timmy giving a little clavicle. Chest All right. out. Okay. Chest out. I mean, I think this is another example of your boy showing skin yeah. where a lot of people would be uncomfortable doing so. So this is a woman's Louis Vuitton collection jacket. Okay. You got the lace inserts here. Yep. Definitely got a little bit of it right there. Yeah. You know, I'm not a big fan of blazers or jackets without shirts. It's a vibe. It's a look. He pulls it off for sure. Let's go to the pants. We've got another pair of crop trousers and another pair of boots getting close to a Cuban heel. Cuban heel is a stacked heel on a boot. They call it a Cuban heel or a flamenco heel because it was what the dancers wore. I like the pants. I think that length is good. I think they could have come down a little bit, but I still like it. The top is very, let's call it genderless, but yeah. leaning towards a Baroque feeling. It's a little MJ, actually. Oh, okay, well, you know, that's a it's good- It's a little MJ, you but- You would've worn know. it with a, like a little turtle yeah. neck ruffle, yeah. probably. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> that uh, sounds like Prince. What do you think about the necklace with the choker aspect? Once again, Cartier. I like this. I think that could have been something else. Like so another chain. Exactly. I mean, you're already not wearing a shirt. Yeah. Like yeah. you might as well wear a grip of chains. <laughs> Got a few more chains there. Yeah. A little Mr. T action. Yeah, a little Mr. Yeah, T action. Yeah, 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 yeah. What if we gave him some glasses? I think you need to be careful, right? Yeah, you yeah. got a lot of sequins and things going on with the jacket. Yeah, yeah. You got all the rings. Yeah. But then once you add the glasses, yeah, yeah, I know. Are I know. you then I'm going just, too far? I just like drawing on this thing. Overall, big fit. It's a big fit. I dig it. Mm hmm I dig it. I think it belongs there so far. Of the ones here, yes. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. I but actually still don't agree with you with that and that. I gotta, I gotta give this props. I mean, like I said, it's not my favorite, mm -hmm. but I think it's a bit bold. I think it's a bit bold to wear to the Met Gala. The blazer is well tailored. I like the sweatpants separately. I like the little jewelry. Yeah. If you think yeah. that this is a bigger fit objectively yeah. than the harness. Yeah, he took a chance on this one. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it more. Okay. The final fit. Bones and all. I didn't even notice that at first. We Bones. like that. Okay, Timothy. Bones. This is Alexander McQueen. Boots would be as well. Your boy likes a high Chelsea boot and a high pant. Yeah. Again, no shirt. But it's different He's because covered. it's covered, so it's a little bit different. My question is, is this a styling technique to have one of the lapels pop and the other one not, or is that the way the jacket is constructed? I think that's the way the jacket is constructed. I like the sunglasses. Yeah, same sunglasses. So. It's definitely yeah. a similar style. Boot side, I'm Well, I mean, at sure. least you know what you like. You know, yeah. you know it works on your yeah. face. Yeah. Okay, what do you think about the rings? I think the rings are good. The all white dominate. It the really rings does. are secondary, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I think it's good that they're on one hand versus two hands. A little more Cartier action. Oh, he's, he's a, a friend of the house. Friend, he's a friend of the house. I'll be Cartier. your friend, Cartier. Cartier, I have an empty yeah, hand. Yeah. What's up? Every look that he's done that we've looked at is monochromatic. Wearing things that have no variation yep. in color, be it black with like a white shirt or yep. whatever, it creates space okay. within the look, top to bottom. Even the shoes are white on this one. So this is like extra, extra, extra. Yo, this is fly. Yeah, this it's is mad fly. fly. It's mad fly. fly. That's a lot of checks. Yeah, I like to write. Okay. So it's a double-breasted jacket in theory because of the way it's closed, yeah. but it has only one button. The less buttons you have on a jacket sort of lends itself to feeling more formal. You got cleaner lines. Wait, look at the diamond on the little dog bones. Yeah. That's a Vivian Westwood choker. Vivian. My neck is Sponsor clean. the neck. My neck is clean. This is at the Bones and All premiere. Not so subtle, because there's diamond bones on your neck. And he knows 
He knows. Look at that. He's smiling. He's like, you got it. You got uh, it, Mobilaji. I think the jewelry's fly. Yeah, you know? it gives it dimension. Textures. What do you think about the boots in general? I think the boots go with the suit. 100%. I don't know whether those white boots without that suit. Like if he honest. was wearing like camo pants and like a uh, hoodie. Nah, you shouldn't even say such things. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the biggest fit? Gonna have to say that the red is the biggest fit. So this is the second opinion. biggest fit? I think it's the second biggest fit. You like this one more than you like the sequins? You gotta give our man here props. I mean, this is the biggest guns out. fit. Everything he has his we've guns seen, out. this is the biggest fit. Guns out, sun's out. I think it's the biggest fit. It's the biggest fit. So I'm gonna put it at the end. Do you think this is the second biggest fit? By far the second biggest fit. I would agree. Yeah. I would agree. I still think that this is my least big fit and it is killed for me by the shoes. That being said, I understand your point of view and I'm happy to leave it. No, 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 no. Maybe I agree with you. That I'm feels right. That. that feels right to me. I'm not mad at that. Okay. Fair I'm not enough. mad at that. Fair I'm enough. not mad at that. Big, some more bigger, some more bigger-ish, some more- Double extra large, triple extra large. PhD, biggest fit. <laughs> PhD. That's a PhD fit. Yep. That's right, that's right. Biggest fit.